this question looks interesting right let's take a look at it and see where we end up a group of learners design a device that consists of a light bulb on a string hanging from the roof of a cargo truck this device is used to determine the acceleration of the truck when the truck is stationary or moving at a constant speed the ball will hang straight down but when it is undergoing a constant acceleration the ball hangs down at an angle theta is shown in the diagram below and the first question 2.1 draw a free body diagram of all the forces acting on the ball for two marks so if this question was for three marks you would expect three forces on your free body diagram if it was for four marks you would expect four forces acting on your object and then now that it is for two marks we are only expecting two forces to be acting on the ball right so let's go ahead and identify those forces the first force obviously it's always weight before you start thinking about any other force you put weight first and then you go through your situation here we also have the tension the reason why our ball is hanging from the cargo right from the roof of the cargo so to show the tension at an angle there we have it we have the tension and the weight why am i choosing to show the tension at an angle because in the diagram given the ball is at an angle q point at you 2.2.1 in this case the mass of the ball is 50 grams and the angle theta is 18 degrees calculate the horizontal force on the ball so horizontal force on the ball the, the force along the x-axis is what we're looking for right let's resolve that free body diagram first we have the weight and we have ty the y component of the tension and we have tx in this equation we are looking for tx but we don't have the tension although we have the angle we don't have the tension but right? so we cannot calculate tx directly what we can do we can calculate the weight and equate it to ty and then after finding ty we can then find tx so we're going to say that the y component of our tension is equals to the weight our object is not moving upwards or downwards so this equation should be true so to find the y component of the tension we're going to say tension this angle here is 18 degrees if this angle is 18 degrees this angle here should be 72 degrees because this angle here is 90 degrees so we're gonna say tension sine of 72 degrees is equal to the weight our object weighs 50 grams so that will be 50 divided by 1000 multiplied by gravity right gravitational acceleration which is 9.8 it's easy to see now that we're going to divide both sides by sine of 72 so divided by sine of 72 and then we do the same thing on the right hand side we have to divide by sine of 72 and if you do that you should get the tension being equals to 0 0.5152 newtons so that is the entire tension we are only interested on the x component so now we're going to see that tx is equal to the tension cos of theta so what is our tension we know that it is 0 0.5152 cos of 72 degrees and if you put that in your calculator you should get 0 0.1592 newtons so there we go we have the horizontal force acting on the pole 2.2.2 magnitude of the acceleration of the truck as soon as i start hearing about acceleration i'm thinking f net is equal to ma we want the horizontal acceleration there's only one force acting on the horizontal which is tx so we're gonna have tx being equal to uh, the mass multiplied by the acceleration tx is 0 0.1592 the mass is 
50 divided by 1000 multiplied by the acceleration so you can see here that we just divided both sides by 50 divided by 1000 and then we do the same thing on the left hand side 50 divided by 1000 and if you put that in your calculator you shall get an acceleration of 3.1842 meters per second squared 2.3 a and b below are two identical blocks each with a mass of 5 kgs joined together by a light inextensible string the blocks are being pulled with a force of 65 newtons at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal as we can see the two blocks accelerate to the right at an acceleration of 2.17 meters per second squared and the tension in the rope is 26 newtons right and then 2.3.1 let's look at what the equation says calculate the friction on each block let's start with block a right so we don't have uh, the coefficient of friction so we cannot use fr is equal to the coefficient multiplied by the normal force that is not going to work because we don't have the coefficient what we can do instead is say that f net is equal to ma so now we put in our tension on block a so which forces are acting on block a we have the tension which is pulling it to the right and then we have the frictional force which is opposing the normal and the weight which we're not interested in but anyway yeah they are action on our object so we're gonna have uh, the tension minus the frictional force being equal to the mass multiplied by the acceleration the force that is pulling the object minus all the forces that are opposing is equal to ma so what is the tension the tension is 26 and then minus frictional force the mass of the object is 5 kgs and the acceleration is said to be 2.17 so minus frictional force is equal to 5 multiplied by 2.17 minus 26 so the frictional force acting on object a will be equals to 15 point one five newtons right that is the frictional force acting on block a and moving to block b let's use the same approach let's start with the free body diagram we can never go wrong with the free body diagram so we have the weight we have uh, the normal force we have the tension and the frictional force opposing and then the force that is pulling we have fx right the x component of f and then we have fy the y component of f but we are only interested on the x component of f right again f net is still equals to ma what do you do at this step you see that the force that is pulling the object minus all the force that are opposing which force is pulling the object that is fx minus all the forces that are opposing the tension and the friction force being equal to ma so to find the fx we're going to say 65 multiplied by cos of 40 that is how we find the x component of that force minus the tension which is 26 minus frictional force which we're interested in is equal to ma uh, our mass is 5 kgs and our um, acceleration is 2.17 so we're gonna say minus frictional force is equal to 5 multiplied by 2.17 uh, plus 26 minus 65 multiplied by cos of 40 right you just put that in your calculator and it is easy to see that the frictional force acting on object b is 12.94 newtons 